Hi, in this video we'll talk on how to insert emoji, uh, little symbols like this, into your email subject line inside Infusionsoft, or probably for your other email service providers like Aweber or MailChimp. I didn't test it there, but I definitely tested it for Infusionsoft, and that's what I wanted to show you. How we create these little icons to appear in your subject line. First, we need to go to a website called unicode.org slash emoji or any other websites. Uh, I know there are a couple of other, but in this case, we'll talk about this one. And uh, as you see, there are so many different e icons there or emojis, and we will choose one of them. For example, this check mark. So what I'm doing, I'm just hovering and highlighting that and doing copy. Okay. Once I copied that, I'm going to a different website called scilog.org, this one. I will provide the, the, uh, the URLs in the description. And I'm going to online tools here. The one that we want to choose is this one, UTF-8 mail header. So let me click that and do just paste or whatever keyboard comment you're using. Okay, as you see, it appears exactly as it was in the previous chart. And then we click Submit. Right there underneath, we've got the code that we need to copy as well. Now let's go to Infusionsoft account and create a broadcast email. Uh, let's imagine that we want to start from that check mark, our subject line. So let me do this and then type something like Yuri is a guy. Okay. And probably we want to uh, choose additional emoji. For example, I don't know, maybe this trident. So let me do this. Again, copy over just to uh, replicate our experience. Go back to Scilog, paste it, click Submit, and then copy over the code here. Go back to Infusionsoft and paste it directly into our subject line. Okay, we are ready. Now let's test it. I'm going to provide a couple email addresses and send it to them. And then we'll see how it looks both inside a web browser and also the email client. So as you see, it looks perfectly fine. Uh, whenever we go to Gmail on the web, it also has colors. But whenever I go to my email client, this uh, Trident doesn't look uh, correct. So you always want to test uh, before sending that uh, because some of the emojis won't work because of the encoding problem. So the good idea is to test before sending. But generally, that's the way how we insert it into subject line. Hope it helps.